Hi everyone, my name is Jennifer Reed. I'm an event floral designer in the Philadelphia area. And yesterday I was sent a beautiful box of Alaskan peonies from the Alaska Beauty Co-op. Um, and I got 50 of them. And they came in so many beautiful colors. I left them out overnight um, to hydrate and to open so that I could use them today. But I could have very easily put them in the refrigerator and use them days from now as well. Um, so I was asked to do a little tutorial on how I would design with these beautiful peonies. So I thought it would be fun to do an installation. So my friend owns this little uh, cocktail beverage truck that um, I'm going to be meeting with a little bit later. So I thought it would be fun to kind of show like an installation going up it, 100% foam free. It's very hot today, so we're going to try to keep ourselves and the flowers hydrated um, the best that we can. So the materials that I am going to be using is Deco Mesh from Oasis. You can very easily use um, standard chicken wire too. I just like to use this, it's a little bit more pliable and also too, like if I don't cover 100% of it, it's totally fine and it has like a thinner kind of a mold to it, okay? And I'm going to roll it in a tube just like this. I think my tube is going to wind up being close to six feet, okay? But you can do shorter, obviously and then you're going to bind it together and then you're just gonna wire it. You can either wire it onto itself or grab some bind wire. I'm also going to be using some water tubes to keep our flowers um, hydrated for single stems. And then I'm also going to be doing little bundles of flowers. And how I'm gonna keep them hydrated is I'm gonna use these corsage bags and I'm wetting a piece of paper towel and I'm putting a little bit of water in here and I'm wrapping it around my bundles, just like this. And I'm gonna make a bunch of these so that when I'm on site, I can just kind of bind them right to my structure, okay? So, oh, and then I also have some bind wire, of course, and my tools, okay? So, oh, I'm gonna forget about this. <laughs> I'm using buckets too, and the buckets um, have chicken wire in them, and these are gonna be for my flowers that are on the ground, um, and that way too, they can be hydrated as well. All right, so let's get started. So before we go outside, I wanted to kind of give you an idea of the mechanics behind my installation. It's very hot out and I don't want to forget to tell you something. So you start off with this um, wire base, which is what I explained earlier. Um, and we're going to be using it basically to kind of weave our greenery and our flowers through. So I like to use um, certain kind of greens when I'm doing my installations. I like using Huck. It gives a lot of coverage when you're using it and it's not that expensive. And when you're inserting the, um, the greens, keep in mind that the stems are a little bit pliable and you're gonna use these to basically kind of weave it through your um, grid in the chicken wire. So you're gonna start off basically kind of like wrapping it around the wire. The beginning part is a little bit harder until you start getting all the product in and it seems to go a lot faster. Again, making sure that it's a clean stem as well because it's a little hard to get them through the, the holes if it's not. And you're gonna move it around too so you're not just doing the same spot and having them come in all different directions so it has more of an organic kind of a look too. You kind of want to give them a tug every now and then to make sure that they're not gonna fall off. And when I do this at events, I would have this tube already greened up. So it's a little bit faster on site. And you would use this structure if you were doing like an, an arbor or um, something over a doorway or basically anything that you wanna add a little bit of a floral installation with. And then I'm gonna start adding in some plumosa. Okay. 
And it's okay that um, if you see a little bit of the wire too, because we're gonna be adding a lot of things on top of it. This is basically just to kind of get our structure in place. And if you notice too, if I'm putting one in this direction, I'm usually changing it up and doing one in another direction. Again, making sure that they're not gonna come out because you don't want your piece to kind of fall apart, obviously, and have everything locked in. And now I'm gonna put in some seeded eucalyptus. It's nice to have different textures and colors in your installations. that's when you're gonna come in with your flowers. Now, I explained earlier about this, this one way that I like to hydrate my flowers. This will honestly keep these peonies good for hours. Um, I picked things up from installations before, from events, and they've been fine afterwards. It's a nice hydration system doing it like this. And you can also, I think what I said earlier, you use moss in place of the, the towel, paper towel. So how you're gonna put these in, is you're going to wire them directly to your structure. Clearly you're going to cover the plastic bag too. You don't wanna see any of your mechanics. Okay. So that's one way of kind of inserting flowers um, without a foam um, piece, oasis, and things like that. You can also use water tubes. So I wanna show you how I do that as well. You can't just put them directly into the wire in some cases just because of the height and the weight. So you're gonna to have to wire them as well. And you're weaving it through, again, your chicken wire and then putting a little piece of wire going around it. Again, making sure that tube is covered so you're not seeing it. There we go. So this is basically how I'm gonna be doing the installation outside. Um, so now that we know the mechanics, let's get started. So I'm just showing off the mechanics in my design. I created this tube that is going to go down the side of the truck and it's going to go right. I have it like attached to this here. I have attached to the handle. I've got attached to the pipe and then these are where I'm putting my buckets right along the wheels. Okay so now we're going to start up with the green up process which I brought some hucks and eucalyptus. I cut some things from my garden and some um, pomosa. So how you're going to be inserting into the chicken wire is you're going to be just weaving through the pipe, just like this. And this is how it's gonna stay. And I'm gonna do this all with some of this hook and I'm just gonna kind of weave it right through, just like that, until it's all completely covered. And what's nice about the hook is that it gives a lot of coverage and we can go all the way down this pipe to kind of create this installation. Okay, so the next part, we're gonna start adding in all of the flowers. Now that it's all greened up, you see how you don't see any of the mechanics, but we can still get in and we can cover in those spots later because we need them to be able to attach all the flowers. And we have it going all the way down. And these are my three buckets. One, two, three. And I'm gonna use these to kind of like have more of a larger piece kind of coming out and they'll have a great water source on there too.
guys. So I added in all of my sunflowers, which I got from a local farm. And now I am going to add in some of the beautiful peonies from Alaska. Just kind of layer right on top of the sunflowers, okay?